This your girl, Zakia Miss Queenlyn Confident, coming straight to you from uh, the lovely LA Fitness. Um, and you know what I've been doing there, of course. Um, wanted to share a real quick heart to heart. Um, you know, these things come up sporadically. Sometimes they are, um, they are uh, prompted by some things maybe I've read or been exposed to, the conversations that I've had. Um, but uh, today I just wanted to share with you, ain't no quick fix. <laughs> and I meant what I said, ain't no quick fix. Um, and I'm sharing that today because, you know, um, I, I know that there are a number of people who are either on uh, health journeys, uh, wellness journeys, whichever way you call them. You know, I don't talk about weight loss too much. Uh, got a philosophy behind that. I guess, I, I guess I'll share with you right now. My philosophy is behind that. I don't concentrate on weight. And I uh, was talking to a uh, health professional, uh, a wellness professional today. And I told him, I don't, I have a goal in mind as far as weight. But I don't focus on that because too many times we, as women especially, have a tendency to measure ourselves off of what that scale says. Because supposedly what that scale says says that we're this. Or supposedly what that scale says that we can wear this particular size. To hell with them scales, you know? Um, I focus mainly on health and wellness because here's my thought. If you begin to take better care of yourself... If you began to adopt a healthier lifestyle, the mind, body, and soul, then what eventually begins to happen, and it doesn't take long, is that your body responds to the changes that you're making, and you begin to lose weight. So it's more or less like a byproduct of taking better care of yourself. To me, it's easy, that's plain, and that's simple. So back to what I was originally saying. Ain't no quick fix. So... There are a number of people who always want to know, well, how do you do it and how is it done and things of that sort. Well, you know, keeping it real with you dot com. My journey has not been no uh, has not been a quick one. You know, uh, when I look at it uh, in, in all honesty, if I had the time period to look at it, I started this probably around about 2000, late 2000 seven eight um fell off and then in 2011 got back real real serious with this as well um although there may be some people who may say you know well you know maybe they think you should have been further along than that or whatever but it, to me is more again more than just about the whole thing with the weight loss to me this journey has a whole lot to do with me um shedding some things and uh, learning how to better deal with life and its um, things um, as they come just point blank just plain and simple um, I look at this more so um, as a process that God has taken me through and so in many cases I don't have like strict timelines I don't have strict deadlines that I got to lose this by this particular point uh, in time um, mainly when it comes to my goals and things my goals are mainly set uh usually according to the seasons of the year so there are four seasons in a year summer fall winter and spring four and i usually set some goals around the seasons. by one particular season i would love to be able to do this i another one i'd like to do that and there there are usually pounds that are lost that are involved in there and then there's some things physically I'd like to be able to do in some of those goals that I actually I actually have and so that's that's more or less how I kind of set my uh, my goal gain and here's part of the reason why is that sometimes we we focus too much on got to get it done got to get it done got to get it done but let me tell you this you know if there is something to truly be gained from a health and wellness journey and weight loss, if you want to call that, call it that. It ain't going to be no quick fix. <laughs> it's not going to be something simple. It's not going to be anything that's easy. It's going to take some things, uh, shedding of some things, the shedding of some blood, the shedding of some, some relationships, the shedding of of uh, some of your isms uh, and things and for me it is not as if it's it's done 
it's something I'm still constantly I deal with I go through constant renewing of the mind constantly constantly challenging myself to do things you know constantly forgiving myself for things sometimes that uh, I knew I should not have done but I did them anyway constantly learning how to battle uh, uh, the mind and when it comes to uh, making better decisions about some foods you know I've shared with you all before that sugar is my booger and because sugar is my uh, uh, booger I just confirmed that let me turn that around Sh because I have a opportunity to correct my behaviors hey around sugar ha, that was so much power I have the opportunity to correct my behaviors around sugar it sometimes um, at times uh, leaves me uh, missing the mark you know just plain and simple and so you know my word for you today again is that it ain't no quick fix it ain't easy but it's so worth it no matter how long it takes you to get through you know if you just consistently stay with it consistently keep at it you know that the end result is going to happen the more you continue to fine-tune the mind the body and the spirit and your entire um, uh, choices and the behaviors around your food and your physical activity you are gonna get the results that you want I promise you you will I promise you you will you know you got to start somewhere and we have to take the chance to step out there and say I'm gonna do this for me because let me tell you this if you're gonna try to do it for somebody else or if you're going to try to do it for some other superficial causes or reasons in mind, it ain't going to stay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. You know, I'm Don and Kirkland show when he's getting ready to go to break out and say, stick and stay. You know, I'm telling you to stick with it and stay with it. Stick and stay with whatever it is that you want out of your life. Whatever it is that you truly desire your greatest heart's desire when it actually comes to being in good health and when it comes to wellness so or you know forget it just whatever it is you know stick and stay there because it's the consistency that's the key it's the consistent habits that give us the, the results that we that we desire so i i feel like i've been talking forever and let me just hush before i get real preachy um because i'm just i'm i just i have so much heart for this and i just want so many of us to succeed not just in this earthly sense of you know fame and fortune and riches and tangible things but i want so many of us to succeed within you know lauren hill told us how you gonna win if you ain't right within i want us to win and so if we are going to be winners <laughs> it starts within it starts from the heart it starts from the heart it starts from what's inside and so on this winning wednesday I want you to remember it ain't no quick fix. Ain't no quick fix. And if we truly gonna win, we gotta get right within. All right, this is the key of Miss Queenly and Confident. Hope that you are moving from stuck to start in every area of life that you can. Hey, forgot to share this with you. Got a couple of things coming up. Uh, just had an awesome meeting today for an opportunity that's gonna come. Uh, I'll be sure more information about that soon. Um, uh, a kind of a, a special opportunity uh, for those of us who are in this journey um, as well as a few other things that are on the horizon so I love you and more importantly God loves you and keep winning from Suck to Star. Peace.